Hello everyone. Uh, recently uh, I've put onto my Facebook page this image of um, some glowing balls and um, I've had some inquiries on how I managed to do that. So this is going to be a, a small um, a small video hopefully of how I achieved that using Cinema 4D R17. Um, I've already done a little bit of prep work to try and speed things up a bit um, you'll have to, I'll, I'll uh, apologize now I don't usually do um, videos for YouTube so if I bumble through this I, I do apologize um, and also um, I can't take full credit for this technique um, I did pick it up from a video that is already on YouTube um, it's just that I tweaked it a little bit so that to make it my my own design so um, yeah here we go so uh, uh, to start off with what I've done is I've got a primary shape a sphere um, and um, I'm gonna just adjust where I've got it and I want to make it a little bit smaller and there we go and then I want to increase the squares on it, the segments to 32 just makes it a little bit more rounder and then I want to make it into a polygon so that I can shape it so uh, I'm going to select faces and I have the live selection uh, already picked but I'm going to quickly use some um, some shortcuts to make it easier for me to pick loops as you can see so I'm gonna pick that one I'm gonna alternate the loops make it a little bit more interesting than the one I've done um, in fact let's, let's do that okay make it nice and simple we're gonna keep it on this plane to make it easier to move about now with those selected I need to now what's known as extrude them this is where I can move them in and out as you can see so we're going to move them out move them in just a little bit there we go okay um, I'm going to use a space bar just to remove the uh, remove that tool so I don't make any more um, any mistakes now uh, with those panels selected I've made up some materials these are basically what I use to colour things with so I'm going to take my lights and I'm going to drop it straight on top okay then I'm going to click to unselect all of those um, polygons all those panels I, I had selected and then I'm going to drop my body color straight on top as well now it's gone black I don't have to worry about that too much I'm just going to go up to where I have my sphere take hold of my white light button and move it to the right hand side so that it shows up now um, I'm going to use this clapperboard um, button this is what does a quick render so just do that just to see what it looks like can't really see much but you can see where it's all highlighted and everything I need to put a floor in so let's do that then I've got a um, I have a color here of white that I'm going to drop on top of the floor this just allows me to have a bit of a reflective surface um, I'm going to select my sphere again and my model tool just that one and grab the arrow the green one allows me to drop it down closer take it down too close and it disappears so we just want it down a little bit um, that should be fine uh, go up here and have another look see what it does 
Now you can see that it actually produces a, a glow on the floor. This is so that we can actually see what's going on, which is always good. But what I will do, I think, is I will go into my light selection and just make it a little bit more brighter so that it stands out more. Uh, we'll do that in just a second. Okay, so there we go. That is our glowing sphere for the moment. It looks quite stripy. So that's quite cool. Like I say, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and luminous, change that brightness. I'm going to make it really bright. So that's going to be lovely. Okay, so we've done that. I now want to make lots of balls. So I'm going to go into MoGraph and I'm going to pick my cloner. Now what this does is this allows me now, I'm just going to pull the floor down, change the selections. I'm going to take the sphere, I'm going to drop it on top of the cloner. Ching! And now we've got a load of balls. So, why is it doing that? There we go. Okay, so I need to pan out a bit and change the, where the camera is so that we can see. Okay, now at the moment, as you can see, they are stacked on top of each other and they're quite close. Well, that's that's fine. What I want to do is I don't want them on top of each other I want them in a grid so I'm going to change it to grid array that gives us lots of balls at the moment it's just doing three by three by three which is okay but we want I'd like I like it on four by four by four so we just need to change these oh 43 I hope not just need to change those numbers uh, and they're all bunched up so we need to unbunch them a bit so what we're going to do is we're going to grab these and so we're going to push that way and then uh, that way and then that way you can space these out as much as you like. You can make them so that they're just touching. You know, you just just alter it however you like. Um, I think that is it that one. That's that one. That'll be up and down. Now you can either do it so that you can use the arrow keys or you can do what I'm going to do here, which is I'm going to pick 315 315 315 and now they're all equally spaced but we've still got some sitting in the floor so we're going to grab the green arrow handle again lift them up just above the floor like that and that should do nicely now in order to actually make it look like they're actually that they're going to be sort of random what we're going to do actually first what we'll do is we'll click on that to give a quick render of the scene as you can see it's one big glowing ball up cube at the moment uh, this will take hopefully this won't take too long but it'll take a couple of minutes naturally if you've got a fast a really fast good computer then it will do it a lot quicker um, you'll also get a lot a lot a more of a, um, a better 
finish as well if obviously if you've got a, a good graphics card watch the green watching the green bar down the bottom that's almost finished there's also a, a pale blue bar on the bottom left as well that also gives you an indication this is almost finished it's already showing some of the colors that are going to be seen from from these uh, nice shiny balls I found that it, it takes roughly three minutes sorry two minutes um, with um, this particular design obviously if you've got less balls it'll take less time if you've got multiple balls it'll take a lot longer nearly done there is ways of making the these renders these test renders quicker um, but I haven't actually seen how it's done so if there's somebody that's actually watching this that can get the, that knows how to do the renders quicker if they can leave me a little um, a little comment um, I'd really appreciate that because as you can see it takes a bit of time but you can get an idea of what your what your what's, what they're going to look like just by um, what you can see as it's making up the picture quite pastel in colour but that's fine but yeah okay so that is that is the the balls just 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 floating off the floor now to make them look random what we need to do is we need to go into where our spheres are we need to go into simulation tag and make it a rigid body this is making them like a solid object and then we need to do the same for our floor if we don't then they will fall through the floor um, and I need to switch the dynamics off which is fine dynamics that's uh, the movement um, if you have the dynamics on for the floor then as soon as the balls fall and hit the floor then the floor will sort of disappear and float away somewhere which we don't want and we want the balls the dynamic on for the balls so that they actually move and then scatter so that's cool that will do be nicely and then um, the way that they scatter is that we use the animation tool so uh, 90 frames 90 F uh, I think we're going to need a bit more than that so I'm going to put it to 200 frames and there's the slidey slidey bar going to move it up just a little bit to about there and then we're going to hit the play button and there we go Ugh. and then you just let it go I think that actually looks really quite cool I like the look of that um, and of course because it's in on the computer and it's in 3d space you can change the angle you can look straight down swing it around uh, I think I would like to have a look at let's 
let's see. I think this could be quite nice. We're gonna just pan down, maybe zoom in a little bit, try and fill the fill the screen. There we go. That looks quite cool. Okay, so because we've done that, what we can do now is we can go up and click on our clapperboard again. So as you can see now we've got all the all the balls scattered all over the place. Gives you an, a general idea of, of how it's going to look, which is quite cool. So that gives you a rough idea of, of how it's going to how it's going to look. So what we're going to do is I'm going to stop it from here, and then we're going to do a proper full render, which is the one next to it, so that we can take a screenshot. So this is going to take about roughly the same length of time, maybe a little bit more. Uh, we're using frame. There we go. Yes, so we're looking at frame 96 which I think will be okay so it's not as spread out but that's fine um, the frames down the bottom here you, you can always grab the uh, the, the green uh, button here slide it backwards and forwards until you you get to the frame that you want um, I think we're going to leave it how it is. It's going to render up. It's going to take about two minutes, um, so hopefully it will it will come through quite quite good and quite quick. But that's basically how I've done them. Um, now the way that I've done multiple colours is that with my lights I've gone into luminous. Uh, illuminations and textures and then I've gone into the uh, MoGraph um, effects I believe um, and what that does in fact I should be able to so what I've done is move that over to here so yes, uh, I've gone into illuminations, I've gone into textures, and sorry, it's just if normal effects, and and then I've gone to variation, um, and what that does is then that that then all the uh, the highlighted areas on the spheres that you've made up will come up in multiple colours. You can change the colours as well. You can just give them a different uh, starting colour. Um, I've I, I did it as a starting colour of white, so it gives you the full spectrum of of that. Um, if you reduce the brightness, obviously they will be less pastel, cut less pastely, uh, and they'll be more of a solid colour. Um, yeah, hopefully this will now render up. There we go. Because I've used um, a kind of a chromey silver, you get nice reflections on from the lights from the other balls as well. Um, and I've put a white on the floor again to try and emphasize those colors and, and there we go that is now rendered up I can pan back there we go that's, that's the full picture um, yeah so that's how I did it um, it took a bit longer than I thought, but uh, hopefully uh, it's given you some ideas of, of how I do things. 
and like I say if there's any comments from other people well, feel free to, to, to let me know and uh, thank you for watching